we all know why we are here and even though I am embracing my cozy casual pajamas situation I come here with a very important topic as per usual when I do these reviews and that is reviewing the new Junji Ito that just came out. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katarina and welcome to my channel and today I am a little bit without voice but please accept this and uh, just come live with me in this trying times of trying not to have allergies and not to be sick because of the rains that are settling in to Portugal. And I am here today as per usual when a new Junjito drops to do another manga review. In this case a horror manga review and in this particular case a Junjito manga review. So the manga that I'm going to be reviewing today is called Black Paradox and it's the new edited and printed Junji Ito that was printed by Viz Media. Um, and it has a beautiful, first of all, beautiful, beautiful edition, all black, which I mean has to do with the topic of the situation. Very gorgeous, very simple. This is printed directly on the hardcover. Uh, and to do a, a full quick synopsis of this, I'm sorry if the light keeps changing, but uh, I'm trying to use a new camera phone and uh, it might be complicated a little bit. So as I was saying uh, to tell you the story of this, right now in this moment, Black Paradox is the story of these four strangers. They don't know each other. They have met in an online website. Uh, an online chat called Black Paradox in which they meet and uh, they tell each other like they're sick and tired of living, they want to commit suicide and so they do a pact in which they are going to kill themselves together. Already trigger warnings of course for suicide talks, suicide ideation, suicide attempts uh, and as per usual with all of Junji Ito's uh, mangas of course, you have trigger warnings for body horror and for gory scenes and uh, things that you never knew that your body could do. Now, the interesting thing about this story is that these four people made up, um, but they keep postponing their suicides because of strange things happening. However, one day they do try to kill themselves. They don't go all the way through it, except for one of the members that dies but comes back to life after seeing Paradise and he starts throwing up these gems, these crystal gems um, that are huge and appear to be maybe souls from the other side. And when these people try to actually sell the souls, problems ensue. Um, as per usual, I normally do a social criticism uh, visualization of Junji Ito's works. I am not entirely sure that that's his purpose because he has stated many, many times that he does what he thinks is strange, unusual and makes him have fun. Um, however, I do feel like there's a criticism here against people that explore others and things that should be left alone to gain their money and to gain their reputation. Um, there is also here something about the extinction of the human race, uh, which I will let you discover for yourself, and also kind of a commentary on how we ourselves, in the pursuit for power, energy, and things that can make our lives easier, end up destroying said lives. So, obviously there's a little bit of social commentary here, however, I do think and I felt like this was one of the most fun and strange Junji Ito's that I've ever read. Um, I like him of course and giving like a 4 star to a Junji Ito is still a 5 star above all of the other mangakas and mangas that I read because I really enjoy his art style, his art style is completely horrifyingly beautiful. Um, and I really enjoy his stories, however, I haven't had fun like I had with this one for a long, long time. I was missing the Junji Ito galore, the Junji Ito, um, it is so strange but it, that it's funny uh, and it's so terrifying that you get the creepy vibes but at the same time you get a lot of funny vibes in the process and I haven't seen that in a while now. So you have um, 
a little bit of sci-fi, you have a little bit of horror, have a little bit of social commentary, and also have a little bit of fun with all of these thematics, which of course, if you are sensitive to any of these, you are not going to have fun and I ask you not to pick up this manga. However, if you're not sensitive to these thematics, you should pick Black Paradox. That said, I have noticed that this manga in particular is having a lot, lot of controversial reviews. Some of the people love it enough to give it five stars, some of the people give it like one star or two stars, which for me is incomprehensible. However, each and every one of us has their opinion and I guess it could be seen as not as great. However, I really enjoyed it. It's a very, very short manga, but it's a continuous story, which most of the times we don't have in Junji Ito's works. We normally have a bunch of short stories or we have a little bit of a continuous story time and then we have another short story. Um, in this case, it's a continuous story. It kind of looks like a, a callback to... Uzumaki and to Gyo, which were continuous stories or the solving classroom and those are the ones that I tend to appreciate the most because he has the time to actually develop his characters and to actually develop the entirety of the story and not have a strange um, rushed finale. So I think this one was incredible. I really love Black Paradox. I do believe I gave it five stars on Goodreads. However, Please tell me in the comments down below if you like it or if you didn't and how do you rank it in your Junji Ito experience if you've read more than one. If you haven't read more than one, I think this could be the perfect place to start. It's weird, but it's not difficult. It has a lot of fun, a lot of horror, and the thematics are pretty easy to get into. So I think that if you haven't read any Junji Ito, this one could be a starting place for you. Uh, even though this art style is a little bit more beautiful, let's just say, than some earlier onsets of his art style. So that's going to be it for this cozy, little bit sick review of Black Paradox by Junji Ito. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe. And please tell me down below if you've read this, if not, and if you plan to reading this, and all the other things that I already asked you to tell me, because I really like to talk with people about Junji Ito's works. As you can see, I have a whole shelf of Junji Ito's works, so I am a fan and I really like to talk about that. So that's going to be all for today and happy readings to you all. Bye!